Okay, so we'll start off with the opaque lipsticks. Now these are definitely one of the most popular lip products that Lime Crime have. The opaque lipsticks I think are so popular because of their wide range of gorgeous bright colours and they are definitely very opaque. They go on the lips extremely smooth and they do have this gorgeous kind of full coverage without you having to use a lot of product. So I'll talk a little bit about the packaging and the size and all that first and then we'll go in with the other colour swatches and some photos of what the product looks like on the lips with and without a flash. So all the packaging comes in a little box like this. It's, you've got the Lime Crime symbol on there, the unicorn, and just basically a list of the ingredients that are in it. Um, so Lime Crime is a USA company. They are a vegan product and definitely not tested on animals, which is why I love Lime Crime, because as you guys know, I am a cruelty-free beauty guru, so seeming that it's not tested on animals, it is amazing. In the opaque lipstick range, there are 19 gorgeous shades. They range from beautiful soft baby pinks, nudes, oranges, reds, to crazy blues, um, yellows, purple, um, and colors like that. They're all the same size, um, 3.5 gram or 0.12 US ounces, I think that's what OZ is. Um, the little lipstick itself comes in this gorgeous kind of bullet and it has the name of the lipstick on the bottom and you can purchase them directly from the Lime Crime website. On the Lime Crime website they are $15.99 per lipstick, however I did find that many of the colours that I really wanted to try are always sold out, like the Croquette, um, my Beautiful Rocket, colours like that are always sold out. So that's why I purchased my lipsticks from a different website. They were a lot more expensive, but I got the chance to get the colours that I really wanted and they are based in Australia, so the shipping was very, very fast. Um, the website that I purchased mine from is Pimp My Eye. It is actually a contact lens website that sell um, the La Riche Hair Directions colour and also Lime Crime products. The price difference is um, from the $15.99 on the Lime Crime website, they are sold for $21.95 on the Pimp My Eyes website. So there is a significant price increase, especially considering how many I bought. I did end up paying a lot more for them, but I did get the chance to get the colours that I really wanted. So we'll start off with um, what I've got on my lips at the moment. This is Airborne Unicorn, which is described on the Lime Crime website as being a medium purple toned lipstick with a neon note, which I definitely think it is. Um, I do feel that it is quite a wearable colour, it's not too in your face, like if you're kind of starting to experiment with wearing brighter colours, this one is really nice. Yeah, and it just kind of gives you a bit of a unique look. <laughs> um, also, before we go on, I just wanted to say that all these, um, I haven't used lip liner or anything like that, I've literally just applied the lipstick. Um, so obviously the colours may be a little bit more intense if you use a similar lip liner and things like that. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So this is the lipstick here. So that is Airborne Unicorn right there. Okay, so this next shade I'm wearing is called Croquette. Now this is a one that is always, always sold out on the Lion Crime website. I actually don't know how anyone can really buy it from the Lion Crime website because it is always sold out, unless there's a waiting list or something like that. Um, but it's described on the Lion Crime website as being a pale peachy nude, and it definitely is a gorgeous nude shade. I think this nude is perfect for everyone, for every skin tone. I've always had trouble finding nude shades because they tend to make me look like a bit of a corpse, if you know what I mean, like they're too pale. But this still gives your skin a beautiful kind of glow and lift, but it is a stunning nude shade. This is what it looks like in the bullet. And I will do a swatch. This is it here. Okay, so this next shade that I have on my lips is called Great Pink Planet. And this is another very popular one from Lime Crime. On their site, it is always sold out. It's described on their website as being a cool pastel pink with a neon note. Also says, think of a strawberry milkshake. Um, personally, I'm not sure if I like it. Uh, I'm not really much of a fan of baby pink lip colours. I prefer more neon crazy bright colours. 
I don't know. I don't know if it washes me out or if it kind of looks like I've been eating black icing and it's kind of on my lips. Um, I think if it was more pale, it definitely wouldn't suit me. I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on it, but if you guys are a fan of baby pinks, then this is probably definitely one for you. And I will do a swatch. There's a swatch there. Definitely a cool based and it is quite pale. Okay, so I had to buy a crazy colour. You can't buy Lime Crime lipstick and not get a crazy colour. Um, so this one I'm wearing at the moment is called New York City. Personally, I don't know if I will ever wear it. Um, I think it kind of looks really weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to crazy colours and things like that. Um, but... I just don't think for my skin tone that this is the right colour or I think I would need to wear a lot more darker eye makeup. Um, yeah, so it is described on the website as being a banana yellow shade. I did find the application was a little bit difficult, especially because it is such an unnatural colour. Um, it took a while to like get it in all the creases of my lips and to make it appear kind of one even shade. Um, I did find like, because I used a lip brush, that sometimes it kind of removed some of the intensity from some areas while applying it, kind of left a few streaks. So it did take a little bit of time trying to get it to look even on the lips. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like in the bullet. So yeah, it is a very kind of pale. <laughs> I'm not 100% sold on it. I'll just see how I go. I'm not sure if I will ever wear it. shade this is definitely more up my alley one of my more favorite colors because it's a little bit brighter a little bit more out there um this is the shade my beautiful rocket and it's described on the line crime site as being a bright tangerine so i definitely feel it is a tangerine orange orangey kind of coral shade um doesn't have much red in it it is more of a kind of pink based orange um super pretty really really like it and I will do a swatch on my arm as well. I do find that the texture of this is a little bit kind of smoother. It's not as kind of pasty, I guess would be a right word, as compared to the yellow shade. It is more a, a smoother kind of consistency. It did go on a lot easier. It did blend in a lot easier and kind of didn't leave any streak marks, I guess. Um, I don't know if anyone else has found that, but that's just personally the way that I feel. Um, yeah, I definitely really like this colour. It's one of my favourites, I think. Okay, so I'm here with another opaque lipstick. I've got one more after this, I swear. Um, this is Cosmo Pop. Um, it's described on the Lime Crime website as being a softened orange. It also says, think creamsicle. Um, which I don't really know what a creamsicle is, but yeah. Um, it does look really nice on the lips. I think this would be a fantastic colour if you're in the market for a nude, but not a nude, if you know what I mean. A nude that has a little bit more colour, a little bit more fun to it. Um, I do really like this colour and I definitely can see myself wearing it a lot. This definitely goes on very, very smooth on the skin. Okay, so this is my last opaque lipstick that I purchased, Countessa Fluorescent, and it's described on the Lime Crime website as being a cool, based, vibrant pink. And you can definitely tell it is a very electric pink. I do love this one. Um, yeah, so all the ones I've loved have been these crazy, crazy bright ones. This is what it looks like in the bullet. <laughs> they started out straight, but... Moving away from the opaque lipsticks, um, I'm now moving on to the carousel lip glosses. The carousel lip glosses are described on the Lime Crime website as being a glossy lipstick, aka carousel gloss, is intense liquid lip colour loaded with pigment and sparkle. Um, it definitely does have a lot of sparkle to them and they are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. At the moment they currently come in five different shades. One of the shades I bought from Pimp My Eyes actually is no longer available on the Lime Crime website. So if you do want that, definitely check out Pimp My Eyes because you might be able to get it from there instead. Um, most of the shades are 
reds they do have kind of three red shades and then one kind of neutral shade and then this shade that I have on my lips at the moment they do come in a large kind of packaging like this size is 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces on the Lion Crime website they retail for $16.95 whereas on the Pimp My Eyes website, oh I cannot talk today, they are $21.95 so they're the same price as the opaque lipstick. The lip colour itself comes in like a plastic painter with like this kind of carousel design on it. It says the shade at the bottom and you've just got the lid here with Lion Crime written on it. Um, they smell amazing as well. They're very kind of like vanilla cake, butter, cookie dough, icing. Quite a sweet smell. They're really, really nice. Um, one downside is I don't feel they're as opaque as what they state. Um, I feel that it does take an extremely long time to get an opaque look to the lips. I'll show you actually how I got this look on my lips because I couldn't actually do it just with the lip colour itself. Um, I tried and I'll insert a picture for you guys to see. It was quite kind of streaky, not very even looking um, and I just found that I couldn't really get an opaque finish to it. Um, so what I ended up doing was layering this with an actual green eyeshadow or a, a dark eyeshadow to <laughs> try and build up a few layers and, and get the intensity there that I wanted. Um, so obviously you can definitely get an intensity look but I don't think you'll be able to get it with this product alone. Um, it just kind of slips and slides a little bit and it's difficult to get an even layer which I thought was a little bit disappointing but it is still classed as a gloss so it's not an opaque colour. It's not, it's not an opaque lipstick, it's just a gloss. Um, but in saying that, it does have a gorgeous amount of gloss to it. It does have stunning um, glitter particles to it. I'm not sure how long it will last on the lips, um, especially because you, I feel that you need to put a fair amount of product on there to get this kind of look. Um, so I'm not sure how it will last, but obviously if you line your lips and all that jazz, um, it's going to last a lot longer. Even um, instead of using an eyeshadow, you could just line your lips beforehand with a green eyeliner or something like that. Um, and that will give it a gorgeous effect or a red eyeliner depending on what, what color you're using. Um, anyway, so this is a shade I've got on at the moment. It's called Holly Graham and currently on the Lion Crime website it is sold out. Um, it's described as being a sparkly emerald green inspired by the Holly paint. Apparently it is a seasonal shade and it's going to return on the 1st of October is when they'll have it back in stock apparently. Or you could go to Pin My Eyes and just grab it there. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like in the container. I'm not sure if you guys can really see the shimmer particles. I will do a swatch. Do quite a large one. It is on like a, a small brush applicator. It's quite a small one and it does give you good control. And this is it here. Yeah, so it's definitely a dark green. I do actually really like the way it looks. I didn't think I would. I'm not really one for kind of <laughs> gothic looks, but um, I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I do really like it. Okay, so here's another carousel lip gloss. This is the one that isn't actually available on the Lime Crime website anymore. Um, it is the shade Golden Ticket, and it's described as being a metallic gold lip gloss gloss. Um, personally I don't think it really is that gold. I think it's more of a mustard shade. Um, obviously if you were to layer it with like a gold pigment or something like that it's going to be a lot more intense. Um, I forgot to mention as well that these lip glosses are designed to be worn on their own or you can actually also layer them with a Lion Crime lipstick or any other any other type of lipstick. Um, I have la layered this with the New York City. I'll just insert a picture for you guys to see. Um, it does give it a little bit more of a golden tinge but just on its own it is more of a tan kind of mustard gold I guess. It's definitely not in your face bright gold. Um, yeah it's still really pretty. It does have a kind of very soft amount of sparkle to it but I do feel it's more of a metallic colour than anything that's too glittery. I'll show you guys in here and this is a swatch yeah so yeah I think it's definitely kind of a more muted gold than anything that's too intense 
Okay, so lastly, I purchased one of the Line Crime Velveteens. Oh my god, I am in love. I honestly think these are the best red lipstick that you can possibly get. One deterrent for me for a red lipstick is I'm always worried about it coming off and having to reapply and all that jazz. But these last incredibly long on your lips and they make your lips feel gorgeous. They make your lips appear so much fuller than what they naturally are because like my lips feel so much bigger at the moment. Um, and it just lasts so long. It doesn't dry your lips out at all. It's just incredible. I'll tell you how it's described. Um, it's described as a liquid lipstick that goes on like a gloss and then dries to a matte touch proof finish. Definitely true. It definitely does have a very kind of almost like a liquid eyeliner liquid consistency. But then it does dry to, dry to this gorgeous kind of velvety matte finish without it drying out your lips. I've used kind of long lasting matte lip colours before and it kind of feels like you can't smile or you're like cracking your lips if you try to smile because it is quite drying but these just feel so amazing on your lips and not drying at all I actually wore this out to dinner the other night with my husband and even after drinking and eating it was still perfect like I didn't have to reapply it at all it was I was um amazed <laughs> um also like it is touch proof like you can touch it you may get a tiny tiny bit of transfer but it's not like it's going to smudge like it, it does kind of set and dry in place which is awesome one downside I guess is it is a doe foot applicator so if you do want a very crisp edge you're going to have to go in with a lip liner to kind of finish off the edges they retail for $16.99 on the Lion Crime website whereas on the Pimp My Eyes website they're $22.95 so they're a little bit more expensive than the lip uh, opaque lip colors currently they're available in two shades the shade that I've got which is red velvet and another shade which is seduce berry which I think is a lot of a brighter uh, lighter red um, this is a packaging that they come in like this three grams or 0.11 US ounces and the packaging itself is kind of in this frosted um, container with the velveteen and the line crime name on it and honestly I think if you're in the market for a gorgeous red color that's going to last and make your lips look incredible velveteen all the way I'm definitely gonna buy the other shade because <laughs> I'm in love like I've never come across a red lip color that is this amazing <laughs> um, so I'll give you guys a swatch God, my swatches have got really crooked um, <laughs> so yeah as you can see it goes on very smoothly fluidly and then it dries and kind of sets into a matte velvet texture um, yeah it lasts extremely well it's not hard to get off your lips or anything like that um, and yeah I just love this love this product it is amazing So yeah, that was all my lipsticks, my kind of mini review, my thoughts on the products. I definitely love Line Crime products, especially their lip products, and I will continue to use them. I've got quite a big collection now, so I don't think I'll need to buy any for a while, but um, possibly when I'm in America, I might have to buy some. So yeah, um, hopefully that's answered some of your questions. If you guys do have any more questions on the product, just let me know. I'll try my best to answer them for you. And yeah, have a lovely day and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.